Hello students, I am Dr. Neha Jain, Assistant Professor in Obstetrics and Gynecology Department. From today, I am going to start a channel on lectures on obstetrics and gynecology. I will start with the lecture on instruments used in obstetrics and gyne. Uh, I will start with these three instruments used in obstetrics and gynecology. But, but before jumping on to any of the instrument, if an examiner asks you to hold any of the instrument, always hold the instrument in such a way that you are using that particular instrument on a particular patient. Okay? So, this is the first and foremost point. Then second, always mention the full name of the instrument along with the scientist name uh, which has invented that instrument. Who has invented that instrument. Okay. So, um, then you will um, then you will mention the different parts of the instrument. Then, special characteristics of the instrument. Then, the method of insertion and then indication of the instrument. Indication always to be mentioned in like obstetric indication and gynecological indication uh, if they are different. Okay. Then advantages or disadvantages. So let's begin with the first instrument which is SIMS double bladed metallic vaginal wall speculum. Okay. This is the first instrument. So how you will hold it? You will hold it this way. Okay. You will not hold this instrument like this or this because you will you are going to place the instrument in a particular patient this way so you are going to hold it like this okay now it has got uh, the full name of the instrument i have already told now the parts of the instrument these are two blades of the instrument this is double bladed okay kuch uh, ssm speculum hote hain which are single bladed also Okay, but this is double bladed and the characteristic of the blade is both the blades are of different sizes. Okay, this is because mm, the vagina of different person are of different sizes. Okay, so this is of different size and this instrument also comes in different sizes A, B and C. C is the largest one and A is the smallest one. Okay, now this is the blade. Blade has got groove. In this okay this groove is to facilitate the uh, drainage of any secretions or collection of any secretions and it also matches with the concavity of the vagina concavity of the vagina okay so the field of vision is not hampered so this is the use of this groove okay first to collect the secretion and then to cause less discomfort because it matches with the concavity of the vagina then comes the handle which is also grooved okay and concave inwards okay this is also grooved and concave inwards this is to uh, provide a better grip of the instrument okay this is posterior vaginal wall retractor sometimes uh, there are few indications in which we need to retract the anterior vaginal wall also with this speculum but mainly it is used to retract the posterior vaginal wall so, um, anterior vaginal wall also needs to be retracted. For this, we need this instrument. This is SIMS double bladed metallic anterior vaginal wall retractor. Okay. These both instruments were invented by J. Marion SIMS. Okay. Now, coming on to this instrument. This is SIMS double bladed uh, metallic anterior vaginal wall retractor. It has got two ends which has got serrations which has got serrations see and a fenestration like this hole is known as fenestration both the end and these are also of different sizes okay. Now this is angulated the handle is angulated okay this is around 15 degree bent okay with the horizontal hmm. now how to hold this instrument this instrument is to be holded like this so that the fulcrum is uh, at our finger 
you need to retract the anterior vaginal wall this way not this way or this way no this is to be retracted this way okay so posterior vaginal wall this this way and anterior vaginal wall this way okay this angle is to this angle does not hamper our field of vision this is the use of this angle given okay now the method of insertion of the instrument okay since uh, posterior vaginal wall retractor is inserted so that the uh, this horizontal blade coincides with the anterior posterior diameter of the vagina you insert it this way and then you rotate it by 90 degree posteriorly okay this is the method of insertion uh, mm, and it is the blades are non traumatic then you retract the anterior vaginal wall this way okay so this is the method of insertion now the indication 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 are obstetrics and gynecological indication obstetric indications are uh, during examination of after the delivery of the baby if you need to examine uh, the vaginal wall or the cervix for any tears you need to retract the vagina with these instruments okay then in case of uh, doing dilatation and evacuation of product of conception or any abortion first or second trimester abortion surgical abortion you need to retract the vagina so you use this instrument okay then um, and to repair the cervical tear you need to retract the vagina so any indication any any procedure in which you need to retract the vagina that means any any procedure on the cervix or through the cervix you need to retract the vagina so this instrument is used in that purpose okay uh, now in gynecological indication same जब आपको एनी प्रोसीजर कोई भी प्रोसीजर करना हो ऑन द सर्विक्स और थ्रू द सर्विक्स लाइक वाइल टेकिंग सर्वाइकल बायोप्सीज वाइल डूइंग पैप्समियर वाइल एग्जामिनिंग द एग्जामिनिंग द सर्विक्स फॉर एनी पैथोलॉजी लाइक पॉलिप सर्विसाइटिस और एनी ग्रोथ ओवर द सर्विक्स एनी ब्लीडिंग फ्रॉम द सर्विक्स देन डूइंग एंडोमेटेरियल बायोप्सीज और Inserting copper tea or uh, during hysteroscopy, hysterosalpingography, mm. while doing colposcopy uh, and while doing hysterectomies, you need to retract the vagina. So these are all indication for of this in, this instrument. Okay. Now coming on to the second instrument, which is Cascos double bladed self retaining vaginal specula. See. This was non-self-retaining vaginal speculum. And this is self-retaining vaginal speculum. Okay. Now this has got two blades. Anterior and posterior blade. So there is no need for another instrument. Uh, like since anterior vaginal wall retractor. Hmm? In this there is no need of any other instrument. This will retract the anterior vaginal wall. This will retract the posterior vaginal wall. Okay, this has got handle, handle and lock. Okay, so this instrument is also known as duckbill speculum because duckbill is a bird uh, which has a beak same as that of this instrument. Okay, now the method of ins insertion of this instrument is you hold it this way, the index finger and the middle finger uh, upwards and downwards and thumb to guide uh, and then you will uh, its horizontal plane will be will be parallel to the anterior posterior diameter of the vagina and then you insert and then you rotate it horizontally and then you open the handle open uh, open the blades okay open the blades adequately to see for the cervix okay after you have uh, localized the cervix adequately you just rotate this screw to tighten it and now it is self retaining 
okay now there is no need for any assistance this is the advantage of this instrument over sims speculum okay now um, the indications are same but there are advantage of using this instrument over this and there are some advantage of using this instrument over this instrument okay so uh, other viva voce questions that can be asked in your exam will be like what are the advantage of using this instrument uh, cascos uh, speculum over sims the first is it is self reading so there is no need for any assistance the second is uh, only one instrument is required to retract the anterior as well as posterior vagina wall okay now the, the, if the examiner asks while doing pap smear which instrument is better whether to use cascos or whether to use sim speculum which is better so you your answer should be cascos speculum because uh, while retracting the anterior and posterior vaginal wall with this instrument cascos speculum hmm, while retracting it the cervix pops out okay this popping out of cervix uh, popping out se kya hota hai the squamocolumnar junction becomes better visualized okay in pap smear mein hame jo ir spatula se uh, wo lena hota hai sample that is uh, from the squamocolumnar junction to squamocolumnar junction is better visible with this instrument okay so uh, this is better in doing pap smear then if examiner asks while doing uh while doing cryotherapy which instrument is better whether cascos or sims your answer should be cascos because cascos retracts the anterior and posterior vaginal wall adequately and um uh, it is self retaining wahi pe uh, attach ho jayega and uh, call ye uh, cryotherapy karne mein aapko 3 3 3 9 minutes lagte hain थ्री मिनट का फ्रीज थ्री मिनट का थो देन थ्री मिनट का फीस फ्रीज तो इतनी देर तक कोई असिस्टेंस इससे असिस्टेंट पकड़ा नहीं रह सकता बिल्कुल स्टेडीली तो दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज बेटर यूजिंग क्रायोथेरेपी एंड ये भी सिर्फ ऐसे ही यूज नहीं करते बिकॉज लेटरल वेजाइनल वॉल का क्या होगा लेटरल वेजाइनल वॉल को रिट्रैक्ट करने के लिए इसमें कॉन्डोम को पहना देते हैं ठीक है कॉन्डम कॉन्डम को अटैच करके एंड देन वी कट द टिप ऑफ द कॉन्डम एंड देन वी इंसर्ट इनसाइड द वजाइना एंड देन वी रिट्रैक्ट द वजाइना सो एंटीरियर पोस्टीरियर एंड लेटरल वॉल ऑल गेट्स रिट्रैक्टेड एंड सी द सर्विक्स विजुअलाइज होती है जो कि हम वहां पे जाके क्रायोथेरेपी कर सकते हैं बिकॉज अगर हम एंटीरियर वजाइनल वॉल में क्रायोथेरेपी गलती से कर दी तो इट मे लीड टू वसाइको वजाइनल फिशुला एंड इन पोस्टीरियर वजाइनल वॉल इट मे लीड टू रेक्टो वजाइनल फिशुला सो ऑल द वजाइनल वॉल शुड बी रिट्रैक्टेड एडिक्वेटली सो दिस कैन बी पॉसिबल ओनली बाई कसको स्पेक्यूलम देन एग्जामिनर में आस वाइल डूइंग कॉपर्टी इंसर्शन विच इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज बेटर देन ऑल्सो अगेन योर आंसर शुड बी कसको स्पेक्यूलम बिकॉज कसको स्पेक्यूलम रिट्रैक्ट द वजाइनल वॉल एडिक्वेटली सो Uh, there is less chance that the property is touched uh, on the vaginal walls okay so it goes directly into the cervix and this we require hmm? so better um, property insertion ke liye bhi better hai cascos speculum now if examiner asks uh, while doing any procedure over the vagina hmm? if you want to do any procedure over the vagina which instrument is better then your answer should be sim speculum because cascos retracts the vaginal wall and uh, vaginal wall is not seen now adequately visualizing your the vaginal wall so agar aapko vagina pe koi procedure karna hai then you need uh, to retract with sim speculum so these are all advantages and disadvantages of these instruments okay now my next next lecture will will be on other instruments thank you